Hey there, AfterBuzz TV fans. I'm here with David Jennison, the developer, creator, producer, the entire creative force behind the upgaming game Witchkin. David, how are you doing here at RTX 2016? We are doing very well. We're very happy with the response we've gotten. This is our first convention, so we couldn't be happier. So tell us a little bit about the premise of the game, because we saw the trailer, and it was very cryptic and creepy, to say the least. Well, so in uh, Witchkin, it's a first-person uh, horror game where you are a child trapped in a house filled with really scary toys in 1920. Uh, it is a helpless horror game where you, you're a child, you're not, there's no combat or anything, it's all about uh, hiding and avoiding. Uh, hide and sneak, as we're calling it. That's a really good way of putting it. So where did the inspiration for this game come from? Because survival horror as a genre for the video games has been around for a while, but we've sort, sort of like gotten more and more, um, like the AAA side of things, they don't do survival horror very much anymore. So indie, ho indie games seems to be the resurgence of survival horror type of games. So what was the main inspiration for this one? Uh, in a word, my kids. Uh, I had, uh, at the time, it, uh, they were seven and nine, they're now uh, eight and ten. Uh, I mentioned to them, uh, I made a passing reference to the Teletubbies. They didn't know what I was talking about. I showed them a video and they were terrified. Uh, and so we just started talking and they had been playing Slender and Five Nights at Freddy's and kind of... Wait, and they're seven? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> our house is a little different. <laughs> But um, they, we just started talking about, uh, start referring them as terror tubbies, and I, I'd, I'd been trying to find uh, something that I could work on my own for a while. My background's in art, so I was, you know, I, I couldn't choose to work on something on my own uh, that needed a lot of programming and stuff. So when we started talking about terror tubbies, we started saying, "Well, what if there's, uh, you know, a game with really scary toys?" And I was like, "I, that sounds like something I could work on." And they've been a huge part of the, the uh, development. They, my son does the voiceover for Marcy. My daughter does the screams for Marcy. Uh, and you're a child in the game, and it's uh, as a parent, you get in touch with 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 fear, the the way that you forgot about uh, being an adult. So yeah. So why the 1920s? Well, um, we started looking into. Uh, I find black and white just to be on its face a little disturbing. Uh, and looking at uh, post-mortem photos from the Victorian era uh, of people who are dead, um, I found myself it's not just the subject matter, it was really the overall look of the photo that I was finding disturbing and I was like, that. I think that would be a good aesthetic for it. So we went just pure black and white. Uh, it looks like an old movie when you're playing it. Uh, and it's based on the legend of Clara Crane, which is a Texas legend about a lady who poisoned her husband with caramels in 1895, went to the North Texas Asylum, uh, and then the legend is that she was uh, luring children from, her, from their homes by leaving uh, candy on their windowsill. They were never heard from again. So the game, you're in her house and trying to find out uh, as a child what happened to those other children. That sounds sufficiently terrifying. <laughs> Yeah. So as we as we were t uh, discussing earlier, the indie horror scene has blown up in the last few years. So as a developer, what are you trying to do with this game to make it stand out amongst all the other indie horror games that are out there right now? Well, the, it seems like horror as a whole, uh, there's there's kind of three dimensions of it. Uh, one is uh, the feeling of being helpless uh, and things like alien isolation. Uh, and and games like that or sneaking games, uh, then there are there's combat elements to certain ones, but a lot of purist horror fans don't consider those horror games. They say those are action games that are using horror. Um, and then uh, the psychological aspect. We just really wanted to focus on the helpless aspect, what it's like to be a child. And once I realized that that was the focus, I just tried to make everything about that. Uh, so this isn't a game where you're collecting shotgun shells. Uh, this is a game where you are hiding under a bed while a toy's waiting, uh, trying to find you. You're actually, there's a button to hold your breath when she's close so she won't find you and stuff like that. It's really, a, a, it's for children of all ages because there's no blood and gore. Uh, but it's just pure dread and horror. In my opinion, that's always the best type of horror. The ones that sh don't need the gore. Like and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah so when can we expect this game to come out? Uh, we're looking at the end of this year, beginning of next year, uh, on Steam. And uh, 
you know, whatever other options, uh, well, somebody else scared, uh, whatever other <laughs> options, this is our first game, so we're still navigating the business and stuff like that, and largely my wife is doing the business stuff, so yeah. Wonderful, that's so exciting, I can't wait to see it. Is there anything else you want to tell the fans about the game before we wrap up? Well, the entire game takes place in a house with uh, scary toys, and each, if I hadn't mentioned it, each, uh, there's going to be about three or four different toys with different abilities, so you have to play differently depending on the, the level that you're at. So, we're very excited about it. That is exciting. Well, one more question, can we play it? Uh, you can play the demo, yes, here, yes. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys. I'm about to get my ass kicked by this horror game. I'm real excited. Let's give it a whirl. Okay. You can turn with your hook stick. How do I turn? <laughs> you can just turn the camera with your hook Oh, okay. That did not take long yeah, at all. That's the way it is. <laughs> okay, let's give it another whirl. I need to stop crawling. No, why am I crawling? Ah! Damn it. I am so bad at this. How am I injured? We stepped on a jack. How do I? Let's see. Iodine is Y. I don't have any iodine, right? Ah, oh, shoot. It's true. Nothing hurts more than stepping on a jack. Except for maybe Legos. That is like the most painful thing. Run, 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 run. Oh, yeah, I can sprint, can't I? This one? Blocked. Dang it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Why are they all locked? <laughs> Why would I come to this house? No amount of candy would be worth this. The wallpaper reminds me of like the haunted mansion. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah, run, 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 run. No, I don't want to crawl. No, I'm so bad at running. Run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> Shows exactly how well I would survive in a horror movie. Not uh, it, I do a little better. Lay, Laymanster is not very long. Hey right, guys, well I was terrible at this. Hopefully when the game comes out you'll do a little bit better than me. But it was still a ton of fun and can't wait for you guys to try this. We'll see you all next time.